Hello, I'm Dr. Gabrielle and I want to speak with you about erotic power play. Today I want to talk about something a little more serious, which is prejudice. That's a very serious and real topic. A lot of people have prejudice towards people who play with power erotically or towards erotic power play in general. They tend to think that people who play with power erotically are unattractive, that they only do this because they can't find a regular partner or that they're not interested in regular sex and that they are either impotent or uh, not interested in sex at all and that's the only way they can sort of get it off. Um, they may think that people who enjoy uh, being submissive or passive in power play are victims of abuse that they have had childhood abuse and that now they are the trauma traumatized victims having to act it out. Or the opposite, that um, the people who are don't want to be dominant in, in power play are violent, dangerous abusers. There are a whole lot of other items that are prejudiced uh, that people into power play are excessively drinking or taking a lot of drugs. Um, that they are not capable of having healthy relationships. Well, I have talked to so many people and filmed people and interviewed them and I have found that the whole spectrum of, of health and not health behavior are just as presented in erotic power play or people who are involved in erotic power play as they are in any population. There are actually a lot of very healthy people and a lot of very healthy relationships in erotic power play because erotic power play tends to get people having to communicate a lot more to discuss fantasies, to discuss feelings and so on. So I think the prejudice is something that is a problem and I am trying to help reduce prejudice about erotic power play. And I will talk more about this next time. So for now, goodbye.